afternoon people this is sam south carolina happy bees and this is a double deep five frame nuke number 222 magnolia tree and we're going to go and see how they're doing today Here just says need food. Got a yellow queen brood in top, little stores in bottom. Let's go see what they got. Well, they definitely have eaten their food. And they're making sure. And they get every bit of it. Out there paper. A little feeder ring here. A little paper thing here. This little bit right down here is all they got left. Piling there, they got piling in there. Got bees in here. We got a smoker here to get the bees off between the edges so that everybody gets rolled. Give a couple seconds to get off it, that's all they got. This one here has some honey, has some nectar. Same thing with that side. Both sides look the same. Okay. Set this back here for just a little bit. Okay. Let's put it over here, keep it safe. Here is got some nectar or sugar water or something they're festooning on the bottom. Same thing on that side, I'm not holding it off of the thing. Same thing both sides. This one here has got some brood. Queen in the top. It has some brood. It has some larvae. There may be queen. I mean eggs. I don't know. But that's them. See, they're wanting to grow. They're fast tuning on that bottom. I had a couple of people tell me, say, you know, you're doing that to your hives and you're only putting two frames up there that the queen can lay on. Yeah. The queen doesn't lay very much in the summertime, in the wintertime. And if I make sure that they've got food, it has some honey and some nectar. And I don't know where the queen is, but we saw the other. But that's them. But the bees, the bees will eat the, the stores and the honey and everything. And then, about the middle of this month, things will start changing. The bees are going to start brooding up. And I have to keep a close eye on them. 
Now we're talking DC, I mean South Carolina, not somewhere else. Okay. That one's got stores on it. But as soon as they start building up, they'll empty a, a box of honey. And the queen will have something to lay, but now while they're doing all this, I gotta be giving them food. The queen will be laying in little spots, little spaces. She'll fill that box up quick, and you gotta start watching them good in February. Talk South Carolina weather. Start watching them in February because we'll have a couple warm weeks in February, and they'll start building up again. February will have some more cold weather. So you have to, you have to plan for all this, people. You know, a lot of people they go get the bees and they'll stick them outside and let them survive on their own. I can't do that. Not what I told them when I started them. They would take care of you. I'm not the government, so I will. As long as they do what they're supposed to do, I'll do what I'm supposed to do. This one here has nothing in it. There's a little honey on that side. Get rid of a little propolis here. But you don't want to give them too much room in the wintertime because they have to keep it all warm. For if you had a big house and you only lived in two rooms, you'd probably block the rest of it off if you had to heat it. You paid for all this. This one here has some honey. This one has some honey. Some people want to know why I don't get all my honey off. I want my bees to make sure they got food when they start their build up, whether I feed them or not. Got some honey. Got some more honey. Bottom, looks clean. Let's see what this is. This one here has not much, has a little honey. Now I think too that people said, well you got all that space in the bottom. Yeah, but my queen is in the top. During the daytime, there's not a whole lot of pollen and nectar they can go get, but they try. And when they come back home, I like for them to have some room to you know, just kind of sit back and relax. I don't know about y'all, but if you go out working, you play on the interstate all day and fighting with the birds and the cars and the dragonflies and anything else that wants to eat you. When you get home, you want a place you can just relax for a little bit, maybe hide from the queen. Same thing with that, not much on it. But if you need the extra room, you can always open up the door. Go in it. See, 
they're just keeping things clean. That's what they do. It gives them something to do. Kind of like if you got a dog. A dog's a lot happier if you got something to do. And then the cold weather, they got nothing to do. So they take care of the hives. And you worry about bugs getting in there. Yellow jackets are pretty much gone. Wasps are pretty much gone. Wax moths are pretty much gone. So, a little extra room, not gonna hurt. Now when you start seeing leaves on trees again, you're gonna start having wax moths again. But I don't see no problem with that until next year sometime. February, late February, late March. But that's my girls people. They take care of me and I take care of them. They don't try to sting me and eat me and attack me. Not all the time now. Some of them will. I wish y'all watched one of the swarm yesterday. Should be going out today. But anyway, a little short one. The one before is not short. That one did. But anyway. You watch it, you see how the bees react and act. I'm not swatting at them as they're flying all over the place. And I'm not trying to inspect a hive. I'm out there trying to inspect the hive and they're uh, Just flying around looking for a place to live. And we give them a box. They tried to take over the box I was working on at the time. They didn't put them in a box, caught the queen. Yeah, y'all need to watch that one. That's, I thought that was an interesting one. I don't think I've ever been uh, checking a hive and then the swarm shows up. Sugar in the water dish isn't going to hurt anything. Got one right here trying to come through. See other people with bee suits on and all white and pretty and stuff. Now you swear soup? Yes. I dig it. But in South Carolina, in the summertime, if somebody says they're hot, they hot in South Carolina now. I know there's other places hotter. Arizona, Texas. Yes, Texas, I don't know, but...
There we go. The flotation is sinking, so I'm going to put some more in there. Thank y'all for watching. Got a comment? Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Just take a thumbs up. Share. Subscribe. I didn't move this one went down to the bottom better. Okay. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye.